to rob him because he sees him as a thief, an outlaw and a rogue, and not as the people of Nottingham see him as a hero and a friend. The sheriff has tried many ways to capture Robin Hood and finally he comes up with a plan. I will hold an archery competition, said the sheriff, because Robin Hood thinks he is the finest archer in the land. And if I hold an archery competition, we will know who is the best archer in the land and Robin Hood won't be able to resist turning up for that. Good plan. But, said the sheriff to himself, maybe that will not work on its own. Robin Hood is such a horrible do-gooder. He likes to give silver away to the poor people of Nottingham. He says, I tax them too much. And so I will offer as a prize a silver arrow. Very valuable. He'll want to win that to melt down to give to the horrible poor people of Nottingham. Oh, said the sheriff. I hate poor people. Yeah. Good one. But maybe, said the sheriff, that's not enough. Being called the finest archer and being given a silver arrow may not tempt him out of Sherwood Forest. Left slowly turned and ran to Sherwood and the sheriff did not dare follow them and there was feasting and celebration and joy that night because Robin had been proved the finest archer in the land he had won the silver arrow which he would melt down and give to the poor people of Nottingham as he wanted and finally in a moonlit grove, alone with the Lady Marion, he claimed his third and final prize. He claimed his kiss. And that, my friends, is the story of Robin Hood and the archery competition. Thank you. You can hear more Robin Hood stories uh, this weekend at the Nottingham Robin Hood pageant. Ladies and gentlemen, are you all having fun today? Oh, don't all shout at once, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alan Adair. I'm wearing all of our belts today. I've all been blunted for safety purposes. The simple truth is, we don't actually like killing each other. And also, when we're fighting with Sheriff's men, if we hit them with a blunt sword so they don't get the back up, they'll go and tell their mates what rotten horrible people we are, and we can beat them up again next week. You hit people with a sharp sword, it doesn't work as well. Right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here we have one of the Sheriff's best men. What I think of the Sheriff's most intelligent men. It's a cabin. Okay, you got me. It's a cabbage, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, none of the sheriff's men wanted to actually be here today. Now, here we have a simple hunting knife, like many of you will have in your own medieval homes, I'm sure, yes? This knife can be a vicious weapon when used against the forces of the sheriff. Imagine, if you will, that our brave cabbage here is in fact one of the sheriff's villainous men. Even a blunted weapon like this can be used to terrible effect against the sheriff's men if you stick them where they are not wearing. So ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause please when I manage successfully, I hope, to stick this cabbage right in the centre. Are we ready? Can I get a round of applause here? It's cheering, let's see. Three, two, one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the cabbage is a little bit worse. As you can see, if that had been his head, he'd have a lovely dent in it. But that is not the only thing you can do with our friend the cabbage here with a knife.
see, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, axes also have another ancillary purpose. You can also use the blade of a knife to hack into our friend, the Cabbage Knight here. Can we get another countdown, please? Three, two, one! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice hole carved in his skull here. So, where the points are redeemable at absolutely nowhere. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for the actors. We've got a countdown. Three, two, one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's missing part of his skull here. Like this. Ladies and gentlemen, I do remind you, these are blunted swords. Also, unfortunately, they had to introduce countermeasures for swords who couldn't actually hit a cabbage because they weren't wearing their contact lenses this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I will remind you that the cabbage does have very roughly the same density and viscosity as a human skull. You may laugh at the fact that these are falling off the coal here, but I would remind you that in fact, this would have a very nasty and similar effect, knocking a man's head from his shoulders. Let's see the cut one more time, I think.